Hey everybody, Mrs. Bixler here, and we are uh, talking today about compound inequalities, which is super exciting. So we've already talked about inequalities and how they sort of hang out by themselves, but now we're putting two inequalities together. So I wanted to start off by talking about a very important kind of cool um, way to uh, present data, and it's called Venn diagrams. And you probably have heard of Venn diagrams, um, but uh, we're gonna talk more about them today. So um, a very important holiday is coming up, Thanksgiving, and um, there's an important debate uh, of whether you prefer pumpkin pie or apple pie. So there are some people that only prefer pumpkin pie, and those people that prefer pumpkin pie would hang out in this region. And then there are people who only prefer pumpkin pie, and they would hang out in this region. But what happens here? Well, this region, right in the middle where they overlap, these are the people that prefer pumpkin pie and apple pie. And that's a really important uh, uh, place right there. So that's what we call the intersection. So in Venn diagrams, Venn diagrams are able to show us something called an intersection and a union. So the intersection of these two sets, so instead of pumpkin pie and apple pie, I just called it set A and set B, which is kind of lame, but run with me here. So the intersection of sec section of, uh, of part A and part B, or um, group A and group B, the intersection is where they overlap. So if you're part of A and part of B, you go here. But the union of A or B, so the union of like a data set A, a data set B, would be if you're in A or if you're in B. So the union a and B would be here. So if you're in A or if you're in B, then you can be part of my crew. So if you look at the notation here, this is really important, the sort of like upside down, almost like N looking thing, that means intersection. So A intersection B. And then down here at the bottom, this little U, duh, means A union B. So again, the union is one or the other. So if you like apple pie or if you like pumpkin pie or if you like both. And the intersection is and. If you like apple pie and pumpkin pie, then you're in my crew, okay? Fab. So let's scooch on. So several years ago, uh, I had to include this for Halloween. The math department was like, ah, we don't know what we're gonna be. So we decided to be Venn diagrams. And so uh, here on the left, uh, that's me. I'm well rested. Um, this is pre-children. And if you look at what I am, I am the intersection of beautiful and witty. And ain't that the truth? Not sure what Mr. Bass was on the right, but I'm sure it wasn't as funny as beautiful and witty, that intersection. So what that's saying is essentially I am both beautiful and witty, that intersection. All right. So we can debate later. All right. So let's try this one. I want you to pause the video and I want you to tell me what the intersection is of A and B. So the intersection of A and B. Pause the video, come back. Okay, we're back. So hopefully you figured out if it's intersection, if it's A intersection B, that means that you are in both A and B. It's going to be this section right here. So hopefully you said one and four. Woohoo! Okay, moving on, next one. Pause the video and tell me what A union B is. Go! Okay, we're back. Now remember, the union is if you are in A, whoops, there goes my thing. So if you're in A or in B or in both, right, then you're part of my crew. So hopefully you said every single number that is listed. Woohoo! All right, so let's make things a little bit more complicated. Uh, I've now just added three sets here. So I've got A, B, and C. So I could do like apple pie, pumpkin pie, and meringue, it's lemon meringue pie. Um, all right, so now let's try this one. So pause the video and tell me what A intersection C is. Go. All right, we're back. So we're just looking for the overlap. If you're in A and you're in C, so that's going to be right here. We don't even worry about B and we got three and four. Amazing. All right, last one. We're going to make this a little bit harder. So A union C first, and then I'm going to do that intersection with B. Try it, pause the video. Okay, we're back. So I know that A union C, I'm gonna use my highlighter here. I know that A union C is gonna be everything in A 
or everything in B. And then I'm going to see, I'm sorry, C. Then I'm going to see S E E where that overlaps with B. So look at that color coding there. This is amazing. So what's the answer? The answer is going to be that green section, one, four, and seven. All right, so you're probably wondering, like, I haven't really seen any, any inequalities here. Like, how does this, how does this relate? So if you want to graph intersections, you can, you can also graph unions. So remember, graphing an intersection means I'm going to graph what is inside here. So I'm still in, sorry, sorry, sorry. So I'm going to graph the middle where these two guys overlap. So let's look at the two pieces of information that we have here. I've got my nice little number line. I've got my arrows. I've got my zero. So I'm given two pieces of information. I'm told that X is greater than negative two. So I know how to graph that. So X is greater than negative two. Amazing. And I'm told that X is less than 20. So that would look like this. Where do these guys overlap? Now, remember, we're looking for this overlap right here. So where they overlap is in between negative 2 and 20. So drawing this a little bit clearer, here's my 0. And all it's saying is I know that x has to be greater than negative 2 and at the same time less than 20. And we actually write this in a little different way, and we write it like this. So I've got my x is less than 20, but I can squash this into one statement. And we're actually going to talk about it and reference and inequalities or intersections like this, where it says negative 2 is less than x, which is less than 20. So all of those things are squashed together into one. So now I want you to pause the video and try and graph this one on your own. Okay, we're back. So did your line look like this? Woohoo! So the important part here is that you colored in your dots and you saw that X was going to be in between negative 8 and 82. And one way that I like to think about this is here's my X in between physically these two numbers when I write it. And here, like we talked about in class, anything that you shade in, that's going to be your X. So I like to think about it like that. My X is going to be right here in between negative 8 and 82. All right. So now you're probably wondering, well, uh, let's actually let's do this problem quickly. Pause the video and tell me what you think this one's going to be. All right. So if we were going to write this, I've got my negative 2 and 20. All right. Now let's move on. So now you're probably wondering like, what about unions? So remember, a union is going to be if you're in this one or in this one, you're part of my crew. So let's look at this. I've got my number line. I've got my zero. So let's graph these individually. So X is less than five. So X is less than five. Squiggle, 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 squiggle. Or X is greater than 15. Open circle, squiggle, 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 everything to the right. So this one's actually really easy because do you see how you can be either less than five or greater than 15? When we graph unions, we're looking for that jump. And we actually write them the way it's written here. So we have X is less than five or, so X is less than five or, X is greater than 15. And I like to think about this little gap here in between my two numbers as where I put the word or. That's just a fun way to remember it. Or you does, that doesn't help you, but whatever. All right, here we go. So now I want you to pause the video and try this one. Okay, we're back. So hopefully you saw that you've got negative five and negative two. X is less than negative five, less than or equal to negative five. And X is greater than or equal to negative two. Woohoo! Here we go! Yeah, yeah! Nice job. So, to recap, remember that the intersection is the place where our two sets of data overlap. So, we are looking for something that is less than or equal, or sorry, greater than or equal to 10, or, I'm sorry, and 
less than 50. So I've got my 10, I've got my 50. It's gonna be a closed circle at 10, an open circle at 50, and then I shade in between. So remember, this is where your X is going to be. And then the union, remember a union is if you're in one or the other, you're part of my crew. And so here, I've got two pieces of information. I know that X is going to be less than or equal to 10, or X is going to be greater than 50. And make sure that you've got a very healthy squiggle there. Make sure this is all colored in. So this is a really good screen to sort of pause on and keep this open while you're trying uh, the worksheet. Um, you're gonna crush it. We'll see you in class. We're gonna do more practice and uh, I'll see you soon. Thanks.